What's up guys, Famous Gaming here. Been a while since I brought you guys a video, but I just got a really cool new gadget, so I figured I'd put it up on here, so in case anybody was looking for more information on it or looking into buy it. Um, it's called the Cronus Max. Pretty much what it allows you to do is use any controller on any system, um, and even a mouse and keyboard on some systems. So, um, I'll show you what it looks like real quick. It's pretty much just a little USB pass-through, and you plug in your USB. It does work with wireless controllers. Um, and it has nine different presets. I only have one on there because I only need one, but you might have different needs or uses for this than me. Um, actually, speaking of uses, I'll pretty much tell you guys why I bought this. Um, I bought the Xbox One, and I wasn't a huge fan of the controller, not because it's a good, uh, bad controller, but I had been using my Scuf Ghost, um, which is the best controller that I've ever used, and it's probably the best controller you can buy right now. I'm just talking about Scuffs in general. The cool thing about it is it's black, but when you get heat on it, the little skulls come out of the side. Um, but we'll we'll probably do our own video on that if enough people ask for it. Um, but yeah, pretty much it just allows you to use any controller on any system, and that's the reason that I bought it, so I could use my scuff, my 360 scuff, on my one. Um, they retail for $59.95, um, which if you ask me is, well, in my case, it was a better deal for me to just buy this than wait for an Xbox One scuff to come out and then spend another X amount of $100 on it, uh, which I wasn't going to do. I don't have the money to do that. Um, so basically, if you just Google Cronus Max, C-R-O-N-U-S Max, um, it'll come up. They retail for $59.95. I'm not sure if I said that already. I think I did. Um, if you buy this, um, know ahead of time that you're going to need a mini USB cable and they don't ship with them. I'm not sure if it was just me that didn't get a mini USB included, but... Uh, that's something to watch out for just in case you have one laying around. Um, first step you want to get is you're just going to want to download their software, which is free. So you just go on their website and click on downloads on the top, and it's like the only thing in there. Um, but yeah, here's the software uh, to program it. And it's very, very simple. So don't go into this thinking that you're going to need computer knowledge to do any of this. It's, I mean, it's literally elementary kind of computer stuff. Um, the first thing that you're going to see is there is a whole lot of presets and different things that you can get on here that are included in the application uh, that are provided by other users and sometimes the company itself. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is when you download this and you have the device plugged into your computer via the mini USB, you're going to want to go to tools, Go to your options and go to your device and right here, since I don't have a plugin, it's not it's not allowing me to click on anything. What you're gonna want to click the system that you're using this on. So I'm using this on the Xbox One, so I'd put this in the Xbox One. And that'll, that'll close out. So that'll just allow you to use it on that individual system. And here's the cool part. You go to plugins and you go to Max Remapper. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I have to have it plugged in to do that. But pretty much what will happen is a, a picture of your controller will come up, and it'll allow you to, you can program any button. You can remap the whole entire, like, whole entire controller if you really wanted to. And this doesn't have to be cross-platform. If you wanted to remap your buttons on your 360 controller and use it on your 360, you could do it from this. Um, that's the cool thing about this. There's a whole lot you can do with it. And if people might be thinking going into this, well, it's a pass-through from a controller into a different system, so there's got to be some type of lag or there's got to be some type of latency. I'm going to tell you right now, there is zero latency. And when I mean zero, I mean literally zero. I've got Killer Instinct loaded up here. By the way, fucking badass game. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and get you guys so you can see this and focus in. I mean, there's literally zero latency. I've played Call of Duty, I've played Assassin's Creed, I've been playing this a whole ton, and there's zero latency. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, but yeah, that's about it for me, guys. Um, catch you later.